Hey guys, I've got some chips in the windscreen, some cracks. I'm sure some of you have experienced it before. You don't have to change the windscreen just because of the crack. Uh, just buy one of these windshield crack repair kits. It will come with all the tools you need to fix your screen. There's a syringe couple of adhesive seals that you can use for a couple of repairs and you have a razor blade as well now the razor blade is for you to clean off any excess from the glass resin due to the repair if you don't have it you can use any other knives pen knives or whatsoever as long as you can get a flat cut out of it and this is the bottle of glass resin that comes with it it's worth more than a couple of repairs so there we have it a syringe couple of adhesive seals and the pedestal the curing films the razor blade and of course there's an instruction manual as well just under the curing film the instruction manual has all the details it might be slightly different from a repair kit set to another so there we have it let's look at the crack or the chip there we go now first you need to make sure that you do it under a shady area not direct sunlight so start off by cleaning off the chipped area by using the provider pin or whatever just to make sure that the glass pieces are taken off and wipe it off with a tissue then you apply the adhesive seal around it just like that make sure that you are putting pressure all around the seal so that it's properly stuck onto the windshield take off another layer of the adhesive and apply or install the pedestal on top of it You want to be putting a few drops of the glass resin into it. Try to top it up 5 to 6 droplets. Make sure that it's fully filled. You want to wipe off any excess resin. You don't want it to get onto your windshield and then you can put the syringe in and try to create a vacuum with it you can see or you may not see the air bubbles are being sucked up from the resin You can try and tap a few times around the corner. This this would help to make the air bubbles being sucked out of the resin. You want to leave it for about 10 minutes. And then you want to create the opposite of vacuum. Now you want to be pushing the resin down by applying pressure from the syringe and leave it on for about 20 minutes this would help to push the glass resin into all the cracked areas now after 20 minutes you want to remove the pedestal together with the adhesive seal if you want to reuse the pedestal you want to be very careful when removing but the adhesive seal is 
normally for single use only so you can you can just rip them off but be very careful not to affect the area of repair that you were working on at this point you should see that the crack is covered up and you might not be able to see the chip clearly now but it's not over yet we still need to cure the surface because at this point uh, it's not perfect yet now you want to put a couple of drops on top of the repaired area maybe a single drop would do and then you want to place a curing film on top of it make sure that there's no air and leave your car under the sun direct sunlight for about 15 minutes and if it's a hazy day you want to leave it for about an hour you just want to make sure that the the glass resin is fully dried and and once you're done remove the curing film be very sure when you remove it you're not removing the resin together with it just be very careful and you want to use a razor blade and go over the glass you can go in a parallel direction or whatever but I don't think it matters so at this stage you should see that the glass is repaired the crack is way better than it was and you could hardly hardly notice it now I'm attempting a second repair on another car of mine that has a chipped off windshield as shown so the process is the same you want to be cleaning the chip off with a with a pin or with a needle or with a very sharp object just try to clean off the shattered glass inside the chip and once you're done wipe it off with a dry tissue and if you have some alcohol that's even better because you want to make sure that the area is clean for adhesive seal to go on now I want to reiterate you need to work under shade so place the adhesive seal around the area of the chip and then remove and expose the other layer of adhesive and place your pedestal on top put a few drops of uh, glass resins and then you want to be applying vacuum using the syringe give it a few taps around the chip Once the air is fully sucked out for about 10 minutes, you want to be creating pressure now for about 20 minutes. Now even when creating pressure, you can still tap the windshield if you want to make sure that the resin fully goes around all the cracked areas. Now after 20 minutes, you can remove the pedestal and remove the adhesive. Be very careful not to affect the repair area yet because we're not done. I would use a razor blade to clean off the adhesive area just to make sure no residues of the adhesive around the, the repair area. Now you want to be using the glass resin again, apply one or two droplets on top of the repair area and then place a curing film. You can use a razor blade or you can use a roller, just make sure that there's no air trapped inside. Now when you're done, place the car under the hot sun for about one hour and then remove the curing film and start working your way and the chip should be repaired as shown it's quite an easy fix and quite a very cheap fix as well so look at it that's how it was repaired and I'll show you the before and after for for both the cars again starting with this uh, second fix of mine and there you have it that's how you do it